ready for another adventure. It's dark 30, I couldn't sleep. Thought I'd head back up to the, uh, the new stomping ground, do some more exploring. Kind of early to be getting other people up. I was hoping to maybe uh, get in a ride with the Smashburger guys. But uh, I can't wait. And I was hoping to see some game. So uh, we're just heading out now. It's uh, just about sunrise. Sunday morning. Church. Church for easy jeezy. We're off on an adventure. We're up in the foothills. Same road that we were on a few weeks ago. I want to go back to some of those areas. And uh, it's just a beautiful morning. Stopped on the top of this hill. It just seemed like the light came on, like turning on the bathroom light in the morning. So I thought I'd uh, stop and get a shot behind me here. We're headed west. Oh, that looks kind of red in the distance there. Maybe we'll see some game on the road. Rusty's running really good. I was gonna adjust the valves this morning, but uh, at 4 a.m. I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> well, it's a steady climb up. The sun still hasn't showed itself, but it looks like it's gonna be a mighty fine day. Cherokee Park. Looks like there's still a few aspen on the, the trees. Maybe a, a little frost on the ground. So far, only seeing one rabbit on the road. And I wasn't fast enough with the camera. There it is. Sun finally caught me. 7.30. Beautiful day. Oh, this cracks me up. <laughs> Here we are out in the middle of nowhere and I got street signs. <laughs> Pratt Creek Road. <laughs> it just seems funny. Seen a bunch of hunters this morning, but you'd think it was some little neighborhood trail or something. We're gonna try this one this time. Last time we went to the left, so let's see where this takes us. Well, somebody must have pissed somebody off because there's a chain and a padlock. I would think during hunting season it would be uh, open, but I guess not. Okay, last time we stayed on 315. This time we're going to go to 182. I thought that's where that gated area was. But, uh give this a shot. I suppose everybody knows this, but this is a squirrel's nest, most likely. And there's several of them right around here. Must have been a bunch of them here at one time. They might be in there now, sleeping. Yeah, most of the aspen are down here. Got a little ice. So it's chilly. It's supposed to be a nice day today though. First time down this road, so kinda of fun to explore. Yep, this is what it's all about. This is exactly what I bought the Baja for. It's working wonderfully for this. 
nice mild tune engine that's running dandy been going down this road for miles and this is this is what I like doing just taking it easy no dust nice cool morning hunting season so the road probably gets a little more use than normal seen a few hunters camps haven't seen anybody out walking yet beautiful morning though you'd think there'd be some of those uh, moose with these uh, there's some water here so there was snow around here last weekend but that's typically what happens get that sun loving these big tires got 15 pounds of air in all four corners so uh, just kind of rolling over this stuff push it real hard either got those uh, dual Delorto 36's dialed in and the jets seem to be staying clear this morning nice cool air so she's not loading up she's pulling real nice down about 1500 rpm hill that I originally did when I went out fishing I heard that's closed so I don't know what happened up there but it might have been a little steeper but I'm able to go real nice on this one a lot slower speed so I can negotiate it. And another fork in the road and I decided to go this way but it, I think I'm gonna walk this is all new territory and this one eventually leads back hmm oh well that's an adventure right got a little brook here next to the road Doesn't look too bad. There's this one spot that was kind of lumpy here. There I am at the top. Decided I better walk down here and check it out. I think I could make it both ways. But I'm pretty far back. <laughs> and uh, I'm chickening out. I haven't seen any, seen a few hunters camps at the beginning, but I broke through some ice. I'm pretty far back, and uh, my good judgment's telling me that rather than go deeper, let's see if we can continue back to that 315 and make that loop the other way. 
I couldn't climb it the last time in Rusty, but I got a little better tire, a little more traction, a little more height, and that rough stretch was downhill, so we'll, uh, we'll continue on. So, we'll just go through this puddle and uh, see how it looks that way. Well, looks like some hunter got lucky, huh? <laughs> Meat on the table. It's been a beautiful day. Yeah, the hunters are out. I had a couple of them pass me. Lucky that guy was able to get a back here and haul him out. That's a big animal. And there's a bunch of birds circling right over here. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was right over cool. there. Cool. Sun's hiding behind the clouds. I'm gonna find some place to stop. Maybe heat me up a cup of coffee. But it is a beautiful day. As most of them are if you take the time to look around. That's pretty cool. Well, the tires are sure living up to their name. <laughs> I could sure tell an amazing difference between these tires and those street tires. Look how deep that tread is. That's just awesome. I don't know. Never drove them without the siping. And they told me that even if you brought them back they could sipe them. I figured once you drove them on the road and maybe got little rocks and things down inside their deep I'm sure they'd pick out the big ones but uh, I don't know. They said that yeah it doesn't matter we can do used tires doesn't matter so that's pretty cool. I should uh, I should get some new front tires instead of these bias ply. I actually had the old rear tires the street tires with those 8 inch rims on the front and they cleared just fine didn't seem to if I made an extreme turn rub on the inside but uh, maybe I'll get uh, I wonder if they do it to buy supply tires these tires hmm hmm <laughs> and this time if I do it I'll take the camera and uh, and film it so uh, you guys can see that little machine. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just so quiet. <laughs> We've been cruising roads. Yeah. I always wondered what brown would look like. <laughs> Chocolate. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Fresh, gooey chocolate. <laughs> yeah, not bad. And uh, the engine's staying pretty darn clean, really. The important stuff. So, that's working out good. Stop by this little campground. I thought it was a state campground, but it's chained and locked, so I don't know. They want to give the illusion of uh, being closed and part of that BS. But, uh, nice little river here. North Fork of the Pooter. Little snow on the ground. Yeah. Sun shining. Oh, 
bit nipply. A couple weeks ago, this is about where the battery went out. We're at kind of a high point here. Well, uh, uh, some shooting in the background. Hunters are out in the I were carrying rifles too, so I thought it was just archery, but it must have started into uh, rifle. Amazing how people will find these places on the side of the road. Probably kids mostly come back here and party <laughs> guilty used to do that when I was a kid I like to live, get a little further from the main road <laughs> nowadays well that's the mountain range if you want to call it that that we came from in the distance If I can get up on these rocks and get a better view. Uh, moss rock. We get a lot of that here, the lichen growing on them. Beetle kill. Wow. That's where we were. We were up on that side in those hills. Worked our way over here south. Even death can be beautiful. All these old dead trees. Kind of a overcast day. Probably would snow. There on that far hill. I think that's the road we came down on. Put on some miles today. Crow checking me out. Not the right kind of pine for really logging much. Pretty scrawny. You know, the wind just whips them. The nutrients aren't that good. So it's just it's just rocks <laughs> with some roads. Some people have made money, but not many. Wish my hearing wasn't on. Kind of hear this odd noise in the background. It's not like your your brain noise. It's but I, 
I see things moving. I see the leaves moving, but I can't hear the wind. I see the pines moving, but unless it's a little harder, I can't hear it. Being around that noisy equipment and not wearing my hearing protection like I was supposed to. Finally caught up with me. Well, I have a lot to be thankful for. And uh, I enjoy myself. Pretty damn happy, pretty content. Keep myself busy. Always something to do. I sure wish it wasn't so hard to connect up with my grandsons. I'd like to bring up them up here and let them see it. I don't know if they'd enjoy it right off, but I remember a few times going out to the lake as a kid. My dad would uh, start a little fire. We'd just go out to check on things, you know, and my brother and I would come along. So uh, he'd start a little fire, and I remember, you know, they always say that your most cherished memories, there's usually food in there someplace. And this particular trip, my dad had made some ham sandwiches. My dad loved ham. <laughs> Sliced ham sandwiches. He'd get like a picnic ham and then slice it. And uh, we toasted them over that fire. Just had to go nice and easy, not rush it, but toasted those ham sandwiches on some sticks with a fork on it, you know. Hold that sandwich up as best I can remember at any rate. But uh, I don't know if we had any mustard or mayonnaise or any of that stuff, pickles, but I do remember... That being a excellent ham sandwich on a toasted piece of bread. And uh, those are the kinds of things I want to do with my grandsons. I suppose I should quit talking about it and just do it, huh? It's hard. Get everybody's schedules going together and getting them to pick up. Their interests are so so much different, you know. They're into the football and all the sports stuff, and they've got all their little electronic gizmos and games and whatnot. And that's fine, but I'd like to get them exposed to this, too. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for being you. Easy Jeezy here. Take care.